What's up everybody? Today we're going to pressure test the crankcase of this Chinese pocket bike and we're going to go through the steps of how to do it, why it's necessary and what the condition was on this one that led us to believe we had a vacuum leak. Let's get into it. Okay, so what we've done to prep the bike for this test because we want to pressurize the crankcase and the cylinder is we've blocked off the exhaust and the intake ports by using this uh, inner tube and we've just cut it into sort of a long triangle so that we can wedge it between the studs and make sure that we block off the entire port. There's the excess sticking up through the top and same thing on the exhaust. Obviously make sure that the smooth side is in. Sometimes these have a texture to them that'll potentially cause a leak. And then we've made an adapter out of a spark plug and an air fitting. It's super ugly, but it works. We've pressure tested that. It is actually leaking very slightly out of the gasket around our old spark plug. So I'm gonna to have to replace the washer on that, but um, don't worry about that. You know, we will find the other leak. So the condition on this bike was that it was revving up by itself, engaging the clutch and then dying out. So what that might indicate is that the engine fires up, runs rich for a second or not rich, but normal. And then it starts to suck air in, leans out, which increases RPM, engages the clutch due to RPM increase, but doesn't have the power to actually move the bike because it's running too lean and can't really create that power. So the clutch was a little bit sticky. It just something didn't seem right there. So we popped the cover off. We're gonna have to do this anyways to get access to the crank seal, but we did find that half of this weight, uh, friction material had blown off and kind of grenaded in here. But um, that would also lead us to think that maybe this crank seal is damaged because there's been debris floating around in there. We should technically take the recoil off too to access the other crank seal, but we found a pretty large leak that we're confident is the issue. So we're going to review that now. What we're using here for this test is the Mighty Vac, uh, Mighty Vac MV8500. This kit is about a hundred bucks on Amazon. Fantastic kit. Has a whole bunch of adapters, two hoses, a bleed container, pretty much everything you would need uh, for a vacuum test on almost any motor. It has pressure and vacuum capabilities and a pressure relief valve in the middle right here. So what we're going to do today is pressure test this thing and we're going to check for a leak just like a leaky tire. So we got some soapy water mixed up. I like to use lots of soap to make sure that we catch even the smallest of leaks. Don't cheap out on the soap. We're going to pump pressure into the crankcase. I like to go to almost 10 PSI. Now, if you're working in a dealership, you might have a specification that says, you know, a certain PSI for a certain amount of time. However, this is a Chinese pocket bike, so we don't have the luxury of a service manual to know if we're really doing this to manufacturer spec. However, we pump pressure in and it does eventually leak out to zero relatively quick. And we can also hear a hissing noise. So let's get into why that is. We're going to spray down everything, including the adapters that we've made in the block off ports. We're going to spray into the crank seal area. And on this one, you can see that the crank case splits in half. So there's a gasket running down the center. So you want to make sure we check that and the base gasket around the bottom of the cylinder. And our leak in this engine is actually coming from the bead valve. You can see that we dropped down just past or just below five. I'm gonna pump this back up. And here's our leak right here. Whoops. So this thing's leaking out of the reed valve. Should be a pretty straightforward fix. Take the carburetor off, take the bolts out, take the reed valve out. Check the gasket. Um, I'm suspicious that there might be some corrosion under there because this thing obviously has some corrosion issues. That's what uh, got underneath that friction material right there and just popped it off. This thing sat outside for quite a while. So there's some oxidization on the aluminum and I think that's what's causing the leak here. And if not, we might be able to make a gasket for it. Parts are relatively cheap for these things. Um, 
probably find a whole reed valve and carburetor on Amazon for like 30 bucks. And that's it. That's how you pressure test a crankcase. And this is applicable to almost any two-stroke engine. Obviously there may be some exceptions that I don't know about, but block off the exhaust, block off the intake, isolate in between there. We're checking crank seal, base gasket, uh, crankcase gaskets, reed valve gaskets. And if it has a cylinder head, this would potentially find the issue with the cylinder head too. However, those are higher, um, you know, higher, higher pressure gaskets, so to speak. So this test, only injecting five PSI to 10 PSI may not be enough to show a cylinder head leakage or a cylinder head gasket, but this is definitely a useful tool to find a vacuum leak. All right, that's it. Hope you found this useful. Um, I'm gonna try to post more stuff like this. That's very common that we find here in the high school auto shop. And uh, hit that like and subscribe button.